as is stated in this verse, at every step there is vipadam, danger. At any moment, anything may happen. We don't know what will happen. There is no safety in this material world. The, in India, the LIC is very famous. Life insurance. Bhima, Bhima Surat. Life insurance. Yeah. So, life insurance means that you are sure to die. When you die, your relatives will get some money. That's all. There's no protection against death. The only thing that's guaranteed in this world is death. Therefore, it is a very dangerous and bad place. You should just, you know, go sit down. People are dreaming in various ways how to be happy in this material world. Politicians say, vote for me, then everything will be very nice. But we know whoever you vote for, it won't be nice. They're all cheating. People say you have to, to the children, you have to work hard and then you'll get a degree and then you will get a good job. Good job means that you will work about 12 or 14 hours a day. But if you have a good job, then you can drive home in your own car instead of going on a bus. That is the difference. So you may think, I will win the lottery. I will get a lot of money. That will also not make you happy. Who's the richest person in Tamil Nadu? T TVS? Jailalita? Karuna Nidhi? Rajini Kant, who's the richest? They're all rich people. Ask TVS and TVS, who's the richest? TVS, he's the richest. Okay, do you think that if they have, do you think that just by having lots of money they'll be very happy? You, mostly people think, yes, yes, if I have lots of money I'd be happy. But actually, in the course of our traveling and preaching Krishna Bhakti, it may be one night we're staying in some hut in a village and next night we're staying in some big Kropati's palace. Isn't it, Maharaj? Isn't it like that? And if we stay in a big rich man's house, we don't see them jumping up and down, I'm so happy, I'm so happy, I've got lots of money. They're always full of anxiety, everyone. Sada Samadvigna. And even if you have crores of rupees, there's still one minimum, at least one major problem. That problem is death. However much money you have, you have to leave it all behind. Some mosquito is coming and flicking it away. Mosquitoes. Maybe that was a crop patty in his past life. Maybe that mosquito is coming. Maybe that was a crop patty in the last oh. life. Could be. So, after studying the nature of this material world, what should one do? Here in this verse it is recommended that we should surrender to Krishna. Take the, turn the echo. No, no echo. Why? Because Krishna can deliver us from birth and death and bring us to Vaikuntha, the place where there are no miseries, the place where there is actual happiness. Why is there actual happiness in Vaikuntha? One reason is because there's no birth or death or anxiety or tension caused thereof. But the real reason is because the Lord is always personally manifested there. And the devotees of the Lord, they're not trying to be happy by any material means, but they are simply absorbed in the nectar of service to the lotus feet of Krishna. Everyone wants to be happy, but no one can be happy by any material means. Real happiness means on the spiritual platform. We are not these bodies. These bodies are subject to death. 
Real happiness means Atma Sukh, the happiness of the soul. So that Atma Sukh, the topmost platform of Atma Sukh is to know Krishna and to surrender to Him. And if we do so, then this whole difficult material existence, it's so complex, it simply evaporates. Here the example is given that this material world is like a great ocean. It is an ocean of distress. Ocean of distress means that however much we struggle, we simply find distress. We want to cross over it, but we cannot. We simply are swimming in an ocean of distress. How can we cross an ocean? However strong our arms may be and however expert we are in swimming, no one can swim across an ocean. So how can we cross an ocean? Any suggestions? Well, that's a good idea. Using the material example, we need a boat. The boatic mudaharana. The material example for crossing an ocean is that we need a boat. If we have a boat, we have a good boat, we can cross the ocean. So here the example is given that Krishna's lotus feet are like a boat for crossing the great ocean of material existence. To cross over an ocean is not possible for us normally. But there is a, you can cross over a small body of water. Now here in this verse an example of a small body of water is given. Recently there's been quite a lot of rain here in Chennai, isn't it? Is it? So in the muddy places sometimes the cows and calves they are going. And the calf makes a little imprint in the mud. And a little water collects in that. So that's also water. And the ocean is also water. Water in a calf's footprint and water in the ocean. To cross over the ocean is impossible for us by our own endeavor. But to cross over the water in a calf's footprint, we don't even think about it. We just cross over easily. So in the same way, for one who takes shelter of Krishna, this insurpassable ocean of material existence becomes as easy to cross over as the water in a calf's footprint. This is a very wonderful statement. There are many yogis who try very hard to control the mind and senses for many, many years. But still they cannot attain moksha. But here it is stated that if one takes shelter of the lotus feet of Krishna, then very easily he can attain moksha. So he may think, well, how is that possible? The answer is that Krishna is all powerful. Sarva Shaktiman, Bhagavan. Now, from the Puranas, we hear that there were many great demons in previous times. And therefore, Krishna has many names in connection with many demons. Names like Kangsari means the enemy of Kangs, Chanurari, the enemy of Chanur, or a general name, Daityari, the enemy of the demons. And here one famous name is given, Murari, the enemy of the Mura demon. Now that if we read the Krishna Leela, we will read how Krishna kills so many demons. Who has got this book, Krishna, Supreme Personality of Godhead by Prabhupada? Do we have any copies here? Do we have, do we have copies here for sale? We have or not? Okay. Well, if you don't have this book, you please get this book. It's very, very important. So you can read every day and become absorbed in thoughts of Krishna. Now, in this Krishna Leela, this book, you will find how Krishna is killing many, many very powerful demons. There are many demons who are so powerful that all the demigods were afraid of them. But Krishna, as a little boy, would kill them very easily just as part of his play. Nowadays it's very common in India we see the young boys, they have toy guns to play with. 
Is it? All the... So uh, they're playing, that they're in their play, they're killing some people. Actually, it's not such a nice thing to have. It's better they chant Hare Krishna. But anyway, this is the way it is. But even traditionally, you see, the young boys, they used to play Ram Leela, Krishna Leela, all these things. So in real Krishna Leela, Krishna himself is playing and actually killing so many demons. Just like the boys are playing, killing different demons, Krishna is actually killing so many demons. Great demons like Kansa, the demigods were absolutely terrified of him. For Indra, Chandra, Vayu, all the great demigods, they could not imagine how Kansa could be overcome. These demons were so powerful, they could not imagine how they could overcome them. But Krishna very easily, in play, killed them. So in the same way, to cross over the ocean of material existence is very... We cannot imagine how we can do so. Here, Seva Kapati, I'm answering your question now. I'm answering your question, so listen carefully. So we cannot imagine how we can control our mind and our senses and make advancement in Krishna consciousness. To us it seems impossible. How can I control my mind? How can I control my senses? So here the answer is indicated that by the grace of Krishna, what is not possible for us, He arranges everything very easily by His mercy. Krishna can very easily destroy so many demons and we also have so many demoniac thoughts in our minds. Kam, Krodh, No, Moha, Madha, Matsarya. These are all the bad qualities which are like big demons ruling in our minds. But Krishna can very easily destroy all the bad things in our minds. So the whole process of sadhana bhakti is to lead us to the point of full surrender to Krishna. We have to make some endeavor to satisfy Krishna with full faith that if we sincerely try to serve Krishna, Krishna will surely help us. So I was saying that there's only one thing that is sure in this world and that is death. That is sure and we see it every day. Ahani, ahani, bhutani, gachanti ha, yamarayam. Every day, Millions and millions of living beings leave this world and go for a visit to Yamaloka. So that is sure. Everyone has to do. There is another thing that is sure, but it's not so easily obvious. We don't see it so clearly, but it's also as sure as death. Actually, in Gita, Krishna says, Jatasya hi dhruvam janma, dhruvam janma mratasya cha. That everyone who is born they have to die and everyone who has died they have to be born again. So that's one more thing that's sure. But there is one... So these are all very negative factors, which is the reality of life in this material world. Birth and death, they are negative factors. I, do, I wouldn't know how to translate it in Tamil because I don't know Tamil. Negative or they are, they are, you can say they are characteristic of the uh, misery of this, they are dukalakshanams of this material world. But there is something else that is sure that is very positive or that is very hopeful. Ashabhar, hopeful. There is something that is sure that can fill our heart with happiness. What is sure is that if we take shelter of Krishna, Krishna will surely deliver us from this material existence. Because Krishna is very, very merciful. Krishna wants to save us from material life. So if we take shelter of Krishna by the process of Bhakti Yoga, we can have full faith that Krishna will deliver us from this material existence. We can have full faith in this because Krishna promises so in Bhagavad Gita. Vita Raga Bhaya Krotha Nanmaya Mamupashitaha Bhavo Jnana Tapasa Bhutam Bhava Magataha Krishna says that many, many people in the past have become free 
from attachment, fear and anger and by uh, knowledge and renunciation culminating in devotion to me, they have attained to my lotus feet. It's a long one. Many, many persons, Krishna says, many, many, not one or two, many persons have come to me. Becoming free from attachment, fear and anger. Asakti. Asakti, do you say that? Attachment. Uh, becoming purified by knowledge of me and uh, sincere endeavor in devotional service. Many people have come to me. So you can also come to Krishna. Why not? Krishna wants you to come. Krishna promises, if you try to come to me, I will help you. Tesham satata yuktanam bhajatam priti purvakam dadami buddhi yogam tangyenamam upayanti te Krishna says, for one who tries to worship me with love, I will definitely help them. I will give them the intelligence by which they will surely come to me. You can all, everyone can come to Bhakti. There is no ba, there is no, there is no ba, there is no uh, obstruction. But in Krishna Bhakti, in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's movement, we say, everybody come, please come, chant Hare Krishna. You may be born in Brahmin family, you may be born in Shudra family, you may be born in lower than Shudra family. You may be born in the worst, lowest family of cow eaters like myself. It doesn't matter. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu makes no distinction. Everyone is welcome. Please come and chant Hare Krishna. The only qualification to take part in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's movement is the faith and sincerity to do so. So whatever material situation we may be in, everyone is welcome to chant Hare Krishna, study Bhagavad Gita as it is, and make advancement in devotional service. And we can practically see this all over the world. So many people are becoming advanced in devotional service from all different backgrounds. Here we see there are some young children, they are chanting Hare Krishna, just like Shanmugam Priya is also chanting Hare Krishna. And there's another baby who I was shown today is called Krishna Priya. And then we have also from the other age scale where we have Shama Pran Adhika Devi Dasi. Shama Pran Adhika means who is more dear to Shama than his own life. So whatever stage of life one may be in, one can take up Krishna consciousness and Krishna will help him. We have some devotees like Rajendra Nandan Maharaj who in his youth gave up all his studies and all his life has been preaching Krishna Bhakti. So you're all very, very fortunate to have his association this evening. Anyway, I'm giving the lecture, so you can give the lecture afterwards. <laughs> Actually, we're all very fortunate by the grace of Srila Prabhupada that we're able to come here and join together in Krishna consciousness. There was a, there was a famous poem by Rudyard Kipling, who was a famous British poet at the end of the 19th century. And he was very strongly pro-British. He was born in Bombay, but he was very strongly for the empire. So he said, I don't know if you can translate this in Tamil, East is East and West is West, and ne'er the twain shall meet. It means that the two shall never meet. He thought that the, these Indian people, they'll never understand how great is our British culture. They're, too, they're not high class enough for this. But now we see by Prabhupada's preaching, by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's mercy, people from Britain are coming and bowing their heads down in the dust of Vrindavan Dham, Ayapur Dham, and these places which are at least superficially in India. So this Krishna conscious mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, it has the most wonderful effect. So please take part in it with full enthusiasm. I know you're all very busy people. Busy, 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 busy,
बिजी 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 वेस्ट वेस्टम या आई सेड दैट साउंड्स गुड इट्स सो बिजी दे डोंट हैव टाइम टू थिंक आई एम बिजी एवरीवनस वर्किंग वेरी हार्ड बट वी शुड मेक सम टाइम टू चांट हरि कृष्ण इफ वी डोंट हैव टाइम टू वर्शिप कृष्ण देन व्हाट्स द यूज ऑफ इवन बीइंग अलाइव वी आर वर्किंग 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 व्हाट फॉर सो दैट वी कैन कम होम एंड वॉच टीवी दिस इज नॉट अ वेरी गुड आइडिया turn the tv off throw it out of the window chant hari krishna if you watch tv then your consciousness will become polluted tv means they show all bad things bad or at best you could say useless there's some test match going on now huh? some test match is going on some test match there's always some match. it's useless waste of time If we say this in India people will think we're crazy but actually it's true it's simply a waste of time throwing a ball hitting it with a piece of wood and running up and down and other things you see on TV people shooting each other and men chasing after women and all bad things and buy this coffee buy this uh, soap powder so many useless things better chant hari krishna We got this human form of life after many many births. Now we have the opportunity to surrender to Krishna. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has made it very easy. There's no need to take any difficult austerities. Chant Hare Krishna, study Bhagavad Gita as it is and take prasadam. So please take to it. Your life will be happy now and happy forever. Krishna who is Murari Giridhari, Vamshidhari, Gopal, Govinda, Gopinath, Bhakta Vatsala. He has so many wonderful names. Krishna will help. Some more names? Govinda. Who said that? Gopala. Madhava. Mukunda. Yashoda. Yashoda Nandana. Yashoda Vatsala, Partha Sarathi. In fact, Chennai is very famous. Partha Sarathi, <coughs> Makan Chaur. Another name, Chauranatha. I just went to a temple in uh, in Pandya Desh. One name of Krishna is Chauranatha, King of the Chaurs. <laughs> Devaki Nandana, Yashoda Bala. Ladu Krishna, Ladu Gopal, Shah, Shah Masundara. All right, so many nice names, and all the names are summed up in one name. That one name is Krishna, and the best way to chant the names of Krishna is to chant the Maha Mantra. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari. Krishna naam sutha kari apan jurao bhakti vino de pran naam bina kichu nahi kavar chudh bhuvana maje the bhakti nav thakur a great acharya he says please please me by chanting this nectarian name of krishna drink the nectar of the name of krishna drink the nectar of the holy name of krishna there is nothing but the name to be had in all the 14 worlds hare krishna